We are Camelot Motion Control. Hi, I'm Matt from Camelot Motion Control, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you some tips on the best ways to degas the set of ports on one of our adjustable ports gas drums for the variant. There are two methods that we use to do this, and it comes down to the shape, the size, and how safe you can do this. So let's take a look at the first method, which is to add more weight. If we take our demonstration unit, which is a nice, simple, flat lid application, it's a really easy one, it's safe and secure to add additional weight to. It also doesn't weigh that much, which is another consideration for us when we do this. Now, if we take this unit and say that it weighs five kilos, we add two kilos of weight to it, we're adding an additional 40%. Not too much, but enough to give us some margin of error in there as we start the gassing springs down. And what we'll do in this one, we'll degas the springs down until we get nice action holding that 40% additional weight. What we then do is remove that additional weight from the lid and then degas it down until we're happy with the action of it again. Now the benefit of doing this is that we've come down from the full force of the gas springs to something around about 40% over where they need to be. And it gives us a lot more opportunity to fine tune the application get it working really well and as we'd expect on that. So, on to our second method. This is the one that personally I tend to use um, and it's ideal if the application itself is an awkward shape, it's difficult to add additional weight to. Um, having said that, it's not a good one if the application weight is really heavy. You don't want to be doing this one if there's a risk of injury to anyone by doing so. So, word of caution on that front. Uh, but on something like this cabinet, this is absolutely ideal for it. It doesn't weigh too much. So, what do we do on this one? Using this method, what we'll do is remove one of the gas drops. We then degas the gas drop that's fitted to the application until it's barely able to hold the application lid open. What we then do is remove that gas drop, fit the second gas drop. Second gas drop, we repeat the same process. We degas it until we're happy with the application, barely holds it open. We then fit both the gas drops back to the application. And what that then allows us is to fine tune it again, similar to the first method. So this is, I find this one really simple method to use. It doesn't require those additional weight to be added. So there you have it, two methods how to accurately and safely set the force of your adjustable force gas drugs. Hope you found this video useful, don't forget to check out the others in our FAQ series.